guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome for the very first time. Glad to have you. Yours truly making here. Today I have a super easy DIY hanging lamp idea for you in two versions. It's so easy to personalize to your own taste and style. Oh, I can't wait. Let's get started. The first lamp I briefly showed you in a short, and years ago, I had a video up on my other channel, but I feel revisiting it in this video, along with the second one I just built, gives you a much more insight. It all started once upon a time in Macon's apartment. I needed a new lamp for my dining room. And as you know, my dining room and living room are open concept. In the living room area, I have a huge vintage 1970s globe lamp. I didn't want something totally identical, but similar. Like I love to say, a close sibling or family member. And then I got inspired when I saw this. Alexa Hampton, I wish you were here in person that I could hug you and tell you how amazing your room is, how taken I am by Every little detail. And then, of course, the real topper are your paper lanterns from Chinatown. Only would you do this, girl, totaling less than $25. What could be more perfect for such a decorative, whimsical, fabulous space? Yes. In this showcase house, the designer Alexa Hampton had used just inexpensive lanterns in a room full of luxury, antiques, and decor, but it worked so well. So I was on the search for some authentic Asian lanterns. I was leaning towards Japanese ones because I wanted different organic shapes. I was on eBay because I considered finding some from the Japanese designer, you know, some vintage ones from Isamu Naguchi. I kept coming across these sizal lamps in different shapes and sizes, but thought, okay, it's not my style. But since there was such an abundance and at really inexpensive prices, I started seeing them in a different light. Yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> I love ecot or icot fabrics and patterns, and I had been considering ecot pattern plates. You guys know I love Morocco, the exotic souks. It gave me the feel of all the hanging baskets in a souk and would work so well with different exotic prints, ecot and beyond. Immediately, I bought five of my favorites. Now I needed a mount to hang them. I considered hanging them strung out from another like this, but really love the cascading look of the inspiration design. Luckily, I had a great concept store where the owner was very efficient and always finding me things for my client projects. He ordered me this great ceiling mount with five lamp wires. Unfortunately, this store is no longer, it saddens my heart how many great businesses did not survive the time of 2020 and beyond. But I did find the website of the company, which I will leave the link down below in the description box because I just ordered a new mount for the second lamp. They have mounts from one cable to five. It was just the task of calculating the size of each lamp to determine the lengths of the cables. The cables were so easy to adjust. Loosen this screw, push or pull the cable until you achieve the correct Link. You can always make small adjustments after the whole lamp is hung. A little electric work and mount hanging from my hubby. Let there be light. 
Now the round metal bolt frames and top openings of the Sizo lamps made them super easy to mount. Just screw off part of the bulb socket, stuck it into the lamp and screw the part back on from underneath. It took me minutes to install. To make sure my cascade was perfect, I threaded the cord of the last lamp through the larger one, bought some vintage Edison style bulbs because they were going to be more visible and voila. I get so many compliments on this lamp and everyone is so astounded when I say I made it. Now on to the second lamp. While working on the first, I shortly thought about hanging the lamps all at the same length uh, that they bunched up, you know, kind of like a bunch of balloons, but then, you know, you hold balloons, balloons go this way, but then turned upside down because the cascading design was getting a little bit too close to the table. And you know that rule uh, on how high the lamp should be over the dining table. You guys know me. And no, I considered that rule for about five seconds and said, screw it, I am doing it my way. So I decided to revisit this bunch balloon design with the second lamp. You have probably by now seen the part two video of my hallway makeover. And then I had to remove two of my cocoon lamps in front of the new closet. I also decided to remove the one around the corner because I wanted the lamp to have three parts. Just two balloons hanging. Yeah. Uh, kind of could look like something else. When I had all three next to each other, I found the smaller one too small and more aged and discolored as the other two, but no problem. eBay to the rescue, found a larger, less dingy one, bought it and it's on its way. You guys here, I did some current measurements to see how low I wanted the whole lamp and assess the height of the lamp shades and the thickness of the mount, which was about three centimeters. I knew at what distance I needed the cord, around 45 centimeters. The metal socket frame inside the lamp had a depth of eight centimeters, added that and started with a cord allowance of 50 three centimeters. Also the lampshade mounting would not be as easy and as quick as with the first lamp, but don't worry, still not hard. Because of the smaller holes at the top of the cocoon lamps, I would need to loosen this screw device here and pop the bottom part of the socket off so that I could get to the wires and disconnect the wires. To get to the cable to thread through the top and I just reversed the process and mounting was complete. Okay, you guys, before I show you the final results, I want to give you alternatives that maybe fit your taste better. I just put in the search Asian lamps, Japanese lamps in by Pinterest and found so many options. So make sure you can see the company and website name at the top of these pics. But you know, you can DIY your own shades paper mache or plaster de Paris using a beach ball or even a larger yoga ball. I have seen where people have used the same glue mixture for paper mache and soaked yarn or cord to make similar lamps with ever size or color to your heart's desire.
You can make more individual, organic forms. They don't have to be perfectly round. You guys, the sky is the limit. What do I tell you? Just get those creative juices flowing. And now for the new lamp, you guys, just look up. You guys, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you are inspired. Please share your creativeness with me on Instagram. DM me photos, okay? And as always, yours truly, heart making. Dare to decorate. All right, energy. Here we go, my gentle. Ready? Woo! Woo! -hoo! All right, I need energy, but not too much energy. Chill out a little bit. Okay.